The Charger Daytona cannot do a wheelie. Seriously, it's designed to stick to the ground. It's a NASCAR. It's built for racing. But you know how it is, fast and furious. The cars always do some crazy shit. Here we have Dom's Dodge Charger Daytona from number six in the red color. Looking under the hood, it's got the big block V8 with whatever that thing is on top. What is it? A giant turbo, a special kind of turbo. Looks like a panhead turbo to me. If you know what that is, let me know. I can see a major issue on the wheels here. Well, besides the fact that the tires aren't even aligned, it does not have the double calipers on the back. The car in the movie has dual rear calipers. This one doesn't. Let's open up the boot, check for some NOS. There's no NOS on here. Oh, that's weird. But not as weird as this. This car has four pedals. Check that out. One, two, three, four. You got the accelerator, you got the brake, you got the clutch. But what's the fourth pedal? I think it's a second clutch because you know Dom takes double clutching seriously. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. The car drives nicely, wheels around. I don't think it looks as good or as detailed as these other cars I've got here, especially the engine in the Supra, the 2JZ is better than this car, but it, it does still look pretty cool. Let me know what your favorite Fast and Furious car is, because I think the one for me, the best one was always the first introduction of the Charger, especially when Dom first drives it. That's the car that's got the most presence in every single Fast and Furious movie. But if you disagree or have a different opinion, let me know in the comments. Oh, by the way, that fourth pedal, that's a handbrake.